on guys Daz here and a uh, bit of an interesting topic and some people might get heated some people might not who knows but I just want to talk about this because it is all suddenly popular I've watched two uh, two videos on this person and I'll, I'll give credit to them where credit is due and I just I just want to talk about this real quick because oh boy my brain cells are a little bit low today on this one so we all know the cringe fest known as TikTok. it always manages to get someone famous for being absolutely idiotic who probably aren't even idiotic in the first place they're just doing this to get attention and are baiting people into clicking on their videos that's 90 percent of the content on TikTok at this point and really any platform and well New person has gotten big and I want to talk about them. Before I get into any of this, I am not a consumer of TikTok. I do not physically own the app. I do not consume content directly from TikTok. I do once in a while watch some of my favorite YouTubers who will like look at TikToks and I consume them more in an indirect way, but I will not physically download TikTok and scroll through it. I I cannot handle being on a platform where I know that there are people who exist on there who are probably some of the dumbest people you will ever meet on social media. It, it's crazy. So the little theme of this TikTok user, I will not say their name. I will only show the videos. Well, I, I don't know what they are. I genuinely... At this point, I don't know what to call any human being anymore. So I'll just refer to them as human beings. If they start, you know, identifying as a goddamn burrito, I am I give up. Because I, at that point, I'm going to start throwing hands with my words. Because I, I can't handle it anymore. I don't know what they are. I don't care to know what they are. I'm just going to talk about them real quick. So I'm going to give you a quick second to watch through... One of these TikToks and have you get a feeling of this person and what they are and what they do on TikTok. Why do I call myself gay if my pronouns are he, they, and I'm dating a girl? Well, Say that louder for y'all in the back if you want me to too. <laughs> you can identify as any gender you want and use whatever pronouns make you feel most comfortable. <laughs> Meaning you can identify as a male but use she her pronouns if that's what you like. <laughs> I identify as just me. <laughs> whatever that is. I'm just me baby. And I like to use gay as an umbrella term like how queer people use queer for themselves. Because that's what feels right to me. <laughs> so no context needed that is literally the video and i i guarantee you, i guarantee you want to take that back that that time you spent watching that video i guarantee you want to take that back but guess what you can't you can't take it back you just witnessed pure cringe i'm not gonna sit here though with a checklist on how many roasts i've written for this chick or it or she or he uh, that, them, where, how, when, I don't know, but I'm not going to sit here and roast them the entire time. I just want to talk about it real quick because, well, it's pretty interesting and kind of cringy, so I want to talk about it. So, it's weird that the pronouns don't align with your gender, but I thought the point was that is your gender when you have those pronouns. Like, if I call you a dude... And you are she, her. Am I wrong for calling you a him? Even though you say you're a him, but your pronouns are she, her. Like, that makes no sense. And I'm not going to sit here and try and get explanations from everyone. You say what you guys say. But I personally think that there's a huge loophole in this entire thing. Personally, I, I kind of gave up on this whole pronoun stuff. 
if if you have pronouns and I mistake in yours, I don't care. Instead of throwing pronouns at you, I'm going to start throwing adverbs at you, okay? I don't need you to teach me an English lesson because of your gender. I don't care, all right? I know, harsh reality. That's that's life. You know, there, there are people on battlefields right now losing their lives and you're worried about pronouns, you know? And I can't say much. I sit on a computer all day. I'm a bum. I do nothing. But you just sit there and act traumatized because I called you by the wrong pronouns is very, very pitiful. And I'm not going to care nor try to care for your problems. That's all I got to say. I'm out.